right, hey, welcome everyone. We are back with our final day of the series, our live where we are taking the Brava oven and going to compare it against a conventional oven, the large one that we have in our normal homes. So again, just to do a little intro, my name is Sham. I work with the customer success team. <laughs> and I'm Kate. And she also works with the customer I success team. I also do, team. yes. <laughs> And neither of us are chefs, so whatever we're going to do, we're kind of really just following the instructions that we are given on the Brava and mm -hmm. doing exactly what it says. That's exactly right. And then um, how are we doing it on the oven? So with the oven, what we did is we wanted to make sure that we were doing a fair comparison with you guys here. So we went ahead and we had to do some searching on the internet and found this recipe and then we had to print it out. and kind of do this whole process but we have a recipe it looks good it's pretty comparable we think it's a pretty fair this is the brava over here on our nice three zone tray this is a typical sheet pan i'm doing a one pan cook in the oven we're gonna see how this compares so let me go ahead we need this to go to 400 degrees it's not quite there yet but to go ahead and explain what's happening here we went ahead and set this timer when we started to preheat this so we're already at almost 11 minutes here and we're not quite at temperature if you notice on the Brava, again, right, we're now past 11 minutes. On the Brava, it's still a cool oven. We haven't even started the cook yet. We've just loaded the recipe up here. So we found the it's recipe, but. Cold. Yep, it's cold in there. So, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is get this cook started. So, here we have it all laid out on this tray. The three zones we have one, two, three, fully filled with our yummy, delicious ingredients. We have cherry tomatoes, salmon fillets, two salmon fillets, and some cut up asparagus that we just naturally broke off at the end. We went ahead and put some butter under here that's gonna help with the crispiness of the skin. All right, so first we're gonna go ahead and probe this. Let me move this one over here. Again, we're waiting for the oven to come to temp before we can place that one in. We're gonna go ahead and probe this salmon. What she's using right now is called the temperature sensor, and that temperature sensor gives live feedback to the Brava and tells it exactly how much more to cook, how much less to cook, exactly how long to basically make sure that mm -hmm. that salmon comes out perfectly. Let me go ahead and measure this. All right. So you're just gonna easily toggle this right up to height. All right, if you're not certain, just go ahead and stick it in to the protein. All right, so we have the height right. measured. We have our salmon probed. Okay, there's videos if you need some extra help. What does exactly inserting a temp sensor mean? What are we cooking today, guys? Medium rare? Yes. All right, let's do medium rare. That's really good for salmon. It makes it taste delicious. All right, bottom shelf. Here. What about the oven that's preheating? Oh, I it think is. It is. All right, I think it is ready. It's at 400. It took. All right. Just so everyone knows, it took about 12 minutes and 50 seconds for the oven to preheat just to get to 400 degrees. Right now, if you look over here, we're about to place it into the Brava. Do we have a preheat? Huh? Do we have to preheat in this? No, not at all. So just to make, m make sure you heard that, we do not have to preheat. We've, we're literally setting this on the bottom shelf. Making sure that temp sensor cord is tucked in. Here we go, it's running through all the thickness, that green ring. I'm gonna press this timer at the same time. Oh, I think that was pretty dead on. All right, now let me rush over here to get this in the oven. Again, it's the same three ingredients. Which way? Let's make sure it goes all perfect. All right, nice and hot. We're gonna do this quick. Now the recipe for this one calls for a cook for about 12 to 14 minutes or 12 to 16 minutes. So we're gonna kind of do a guessing game around that 12 minutes, because I'm not sure exactly what that's gonna look like. Is the fish gonna be done? Is it, I don't know. We're, we're, we're gonna figure this out together. <laughs> yeah, will the tomatoes be overcooked? Will the asparagus be overcooked? We, we don't really know. So right. uh, we're gonna follow that recipe, but that's something that's really interesting about this. When you're cooking in the Brava, we just placed tomatoes, mm -hmm. salmon, mm -hmm. and asparagus at the exact same time, and we pressed one button, and. When will we know when it's done? Well, right here, if you come on in. You see a temperature, it's reading the current temp, it's 44, the target temp is 118. So once it hits that target temp, it's gonna go ahead and stop this oven and give it a good rest time so that once it's ready, we can just pull it out and cut right in, right? Yeah, that's basically it. 
That's what's amazing. And the, the cool thing is, as you saw here, we put three completely different ingredients in at the exact same mm -hmm. time. And there's a little bit of beautiful and amazing technology that takes place in this Brava that enables us to do that. I don't know if you saw earlier when we opened up the door, there were three lamps on top and there are three lamps on bottom. Our chefs and our designers, we have the ability to be able to adjust the temperature of each of those lamps to like half a degree. Oh, wow. So we can control the temperature exactly. So the amount of energy that comes out of those lamps, which is just pure light energy, mm -hmm. and goes straight into the food. So you can put three different things and the lamps above and below each of those food items will cook that food item perfectly. And so that's why when you look at this, it says, it'll just ring and say it is done when it reach, reaches the target temperature, and you'll know that all three things have been cooked perfectly, which yep. is awesome. And we'll go ahead and walk through unprobing and unplugging your temp sensor when you see the finished cook. And then I'll do, of course, a taste test. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I think one of the things that we wanted to show you was I want to take you over to the science board over here. We have right above our oven, which is now cooking. It's nice and warm. Yep, it is definitely nice and warm. but. I wanted to compare the two things that we are using today. First here, a uh, conventional oven, and then the Brava. So if you look here at the conventional oven first, this right here is basically the coil. The coil that normally heats up, that turns red, that heats up the air. Some ovens have it on the bottom, some have it on top, mm -hmm. some have it in both places. But here in this case, when you have the coil on the bottom, what ends up happening is it starts heating up the air inside. Now with the conventional oven, there's a lot of air. So that coil has to run for a bit of time to make sure that the internal temperature gets to 400 degrees. Now, as you saw today, it took about over 12 minutes just to get to 400 degrees and the door was closed the entire time. So the heat is gonna be going all around and the entire internal temperature is gonna reach 400 degrees, but it's gonna start from here going up. Or if the coils are on the top, coming down. Yeah. Now, with some fancier ovens, um, and it's not in all of them, there's this option for convection. What convection does is on the back of the oven, there's a fan. And that fan basically just pushes the warm air around, helping that entire internal temperature get to 400, and also allowing the air to kind of go throughout all the food consistently. Okay. So that isn't obviously an option with all ovens. But now let's look at this direct energy transfer. When we're doing this, we actually have no preheat. The reason why is here, when you're heating up the air and then heating up the food, instead we're skipping that step of having to heat something up first and then heat up the food. We have lamps on the bottom and on top. You mind if I switch spots so I can draw this on? So the lamps down here are gonna do the same thing as the ones on top. So the, top, the lamps here are gonna immediately turn on and that energy is gonna go right at the food. And the moment it touches the food, the food starts to cook. You don't have to wait to heat up the air, which is why we can go two to three times faster than any other conventional oven. And same thing from here, this is gonna start, but the moment the light touches the food, it starts cooking. So Kate, I wanted to ask you a question. On a hot day, when it's really hot outside, mm -hmm. do you wear black? Or do you wear light colors? I try to wear light colors. Yeah. I try. Yeah. And then if I wear darker colors, I kind of regret that decision because I'm <laughs> sweaty. Yeah. You get hot <laughs> really quick when you're using, um, wearing darker colors. Obvious, everyone knows the logic behind that. When it's hot out, the sun, um, you absorb all that light energy in darker colors. The way that this works is because we're using pure light, whatever the food is inside, because everything else is a reflective surface, all that energy gets absorbed right into the food. So if you think of it from that perspective, think of the sun and how the sunlight gets absorbed into things that we wear, same type of way, the light here is getting absorbed straight into the food and depending on the color of the food, each one absorbs it differently, but you don't have to worry about that. We have <laughs> chefs. That's right? true, we have chefs, a whole culinary team that specifically designs each recipe for success. Uh, each recipe in here is designed for the doneness that you prefer. So you can pick yeah. the doneness that you want and bada bing, bada boom, you have a meal. It's awesome. Which, by the way, I need to check on this. Is there a light on this guy? Um, oven, oven light. light. Oven light. So actually, I was told with salmon, it's best to kind of give it a, a good field test. So let me just reach in here. 
uh, I'm, you know, not quite ready. And that's, we're, that's where I'm at. And just, not to, quite ready. just to be clear, what are I we think. feeling for? <laughs> what just, are we feeling just, for? The different doneness levels of a fish. So, um, again, I'm not a professional chef. That's not my job. So I'm <laughs> attempting to cook. And I think I'm doing a pretty good job. But again, with the Brava, it takes all the guessing out. I just set a button, I get to pick my doneness, and I get an awesome sear on a fish. I don't know if I'm gonna get a sear in here. I'm hoping, because that would make it taste a lot better. And so we'll see. Yeah, to be fair, we are also following a recipe that we found online that is specifically designed for a conventional okay. oven. Yeah. And we're not kind of just throwing things in. Um, it is a, a, a fair, fair cook that we are trying to do in just terms of knowing when something's done since we may not be perfect professional chefs yeah there may be a little bit of guesswork but that's normal for all of us when we're cooking something new and we're not chefs at home and you need to figure it out cook on the stove put something in the oven you don't really know exactly when it's done but you're just really hoping you can figure it out sometimes I think that's kind yeah. of like what we do as well so right now we have at least four to seven minutes left on this guy stay tuned on that Let's move over here. Let's actually, let's look and check in on the Brava. So, like we've shown you before, you can go ahead and tap on this image right here and it's gonna enlarge it for you so that you can view it a lot better. And you can kind of see the different lamps cycling. That's totally normal. Um, but you can see everything sizzling. You can actually hear it. Yep, mm -hmm. it sounds like it's cooking. It's doing what it needs to do. And as you can see right here, when we had initially put this in, the temperature was not at 70, but mm -hmm. we are able to monitor exactly what's going on with the internal temperature of the salmon there. Now it's at 72. Yep, it started at 44. Yep. And for those of you wondering where I found this recipe, I got it right on the Brava app. I went in and downloaded it. It's right here, it's actually optional. You can also purchase it as a meal kit from our food partner peach dish so but definitely check that out but again it walks all the instructions it bold different words it's like you guys it's so simple it's it makes cooking fun again like it's just it's it's easy it's quick it's fast so definitely check out the Brava app if you haven't already yeah and if you have the Brava app you're also able to actually watch your cook live on your phone so the uh, the Brava is connected to your Wi-Fi mm -hmm. so Every single week, you're getting brand new updates to the Brava, and that's up to five to 10 brand new presets, like one of these. What we clicked on was one of the presets. So if you click on one of those, you, um, every, you'll be able to get a full cook just like that. Now with the Brava, um, once you're connected to the Wi-Fi, you get those updates, but if you're logged in onto your uh, Brava and you're logged in onto the app, you can watch it live, you can step away, you can pause the cook, you can monitor it from your phone. So you don't have to stand around the oven um, like you may have to with a conventional oven. With the Brava, you can walk away. And it's pretty mm -hmm. awesome in that sense. Yeah, I really it is like pretty that. pretty great. All right. Well, we have a, we're at nine minutes and 30 seconds. It's given an approximate time, about 10 to 14 minutes yeah. for this cook to be done. So we're gonna go back here and go through some of our past cooks that we, done in this con that we have done in this comparison series. So let's look at this toaster oven. We did this toaster oven last week and we went ahead and compared breakfast sandwiches. Now, in the toaster oven right here, it's similar to the oven. It's heating up the chamber, the air inside, and then cooking the food. It's setting it at 350 degrees. We all saw that cook come out. It wasn't super smooth getting it out of the ramekins. It made it a little messy, but that's okay. Messy Kate, where can we go if we wanna watch that video again? You can go to Facebook or YouTube. So we actually went live on YouTube that day. It was a little bit funny. But it was great, it totally worked out. So it, the live feed is on YouTube, but we also posted it on to Facebook. But stick to YouTube for that one. But going back here, the direct energy transfer, as Sean described on that picture right there, is the same thing. The energy is going directly from our lamps into the toast and from the top into those eggs, getting a perfect cook for both of those ingredients pulled out at the same time. Yeah, and that's really amazing about this. Now let's look at the, this next one over here. This was the handy dandy microwave, you know, college student's best friend right here. And we compared the Brava with the microwave and we ended up cooking, what did we cook that day? Taquitos. Taquitos, They're yes. They're so good. I still think about them. Yes, they were very good. What we ended up doing was we cooked them in the microwave and the Brava. When you came out of the Brava, go watch the video that you can also find on Facebook or YouTube. Um, what you'll see there is the taquitos came out of the Brava, crunchy, very just 
not limp, the exact opposite yeah. of what came out of the microwave. It was very soft and the moment you lifted it, it just fell, da fell down. But the way that this worked was there's a magnetron here, ends up pushing up um, through, through the microwaves and then microwaves are emitted and those microwaves then go into the food and it excites the water molecules and it heats up your food. Here, again, direct energy transfer. The mo moment the lamps turn on, it gets absorbed straight into the food and you get a crisp. A beautiful crisp instead of it coming out limp or soft. All right, and you want to right, do the last, last one? Do we have time? Okay, we're gonna try and make this work before our cook comes out. That's how fast it cooks in this broth. So in here, this is what we did yesterday. It's a cast iron skillet. In the bravo, we'll start up here. The direct energy transfer, it's going straight into the meat right here. But what's so great is that our chefs are able to finely tune this recipe for this piece of steak that it sears the top of that. Which means when I pull it out, unprobe my piece of protein and slap it on, gently plate it on a plate <laughs> and cut into it. I mean, I was excited yesterday when I pulled that out. I was like, I got lunch. It's lunchtime. That's how I felt. So that's how that works for that. This cast iron skillet we saw, it was messy. It was hot. I was so hot near that stove <laughs> with the flame. And this is coming up. The heat's coming up from the flame and doing a conduction heat onto that skillet, which then sears the steak, causing you to have to flip the steak to make sure that you're getting sears on both sides and all that good jazz. So again, the direct energy transfer goes straight into the food with the brava, comes out with the sear on top. It's indescribable. And I wanted to show everyone what we were talking about earlier. As you can see, I pulled up the app on my phone and I clicked on the live footage. Right here, what you'll see is the cook that is in the Brava live on the app. Now, if I wanted to, I could press the pause button, but I'm not going to because we are comparing the conventional oven with the Brava. But that's basically one of the beautiful features, one of the features that a lot of our customers have been enjoying because it gives you so much more freedom. Um, to walk away mm -hmm. and do other things that might be a little bit more important which yeah. is awesome it's really great yeah so you can see here our current temp is 110 degrees that's what information that our temp sensor is giving us for you to know exactly where are we at at this cook our target temp is 118 so we're well now it's a, in that comment it already went up a degree so now we're only seven degrees away from our target temp and then we'll be able to pull this out and uh, see what's cooking let's check on this oven cook really quick yeah let's do that See what's happening, we're at 27 minutes again, that's including the pre-cook, holy cow. Okay, so on a hot day, let me tell you, you're gonna want the brava in your house because <laughs> this is gonna heat your house. It's just gonna not be really what you want. Okay, let's see. Okay, we're almost done. I see chefs do this, they touch the food. So I'm just aspiring here to be a chef. We have a little bit longer and the, some of the cherry tomatoes aren't quite toasted yet. So we're just gonna give that a couple more minutes. What's going on here? Cook time updated. That's so great. It even gives you a quick little update if you yep. need it. And as you can see, we're about two, we're about two degrees away. And that, that sound is basically letting you know, hey, we're almost done with the cook. And we're just gonna wait. We've got another degree left. And when it hits that point, the brava will be done. So that, that sound that you just heard, I kind of, well, here we are, it's ready. But that sound, I kind of refer to like a dinner bell. Dinner time. So something to note here is that you can also, I'm gonna stop that. 15 I minutes. Known. You can also do a touch up here if it's not to your exact desired temperature. So let me grab this like I've done in the past, the paper towel. Now I'm gonna get my oven mitt on. I wanna be nice and protected always. Whoa. <laughs> you guys, the smell, it smells delicious. It smells like fresh salmon. Seared, crispiness, goodness. By the way, as you saw, she just pulled the really hot tray right out of the Brava and placed it right on top. That's because this is a heat resistant silicone mat. You can do that. And this means you can save some space on the countertop. You don't need to find a hot plate or anything. Mm -hmm. You can do it right on top of the Brava. Absolutely. I'm gonna place right, this 15 minute timer, which is how long it took from start to finish. <laughs> place it right here. Let me rearrange my hands for that. Let me move some of this stuff out of your way. All right, we're on probing. Nice and easy, clean. This is gonna be warm, so just remember that. It's easy to sometimes forget it. Um, all right, so let's pull this. Oh, you guys. Place it here. All right, let me place it here. It's nice and hot. You have that nice, do you see this right here? Can you hear that? 
that's a good sear. That right there, holy cow. That means the skin is now gonna be your favorite part of this fish. It's gonna be crispy and it's gonna be delicious. All right, I'm trying to hurry because I wanna pull out that oven cook right. as well. Oh, so these two have a nice little crisp to them. They're nice and fully cooked. Oh, asparagus down. Right, now let me just grab some, tomatoes. oh wow. So these, they're, I'm trying to think of words to describe them. These are my favorite snack in the Brava. So I'm, I'm personally vegan, and one of my favorite things to make in the Brava are these cherry tomatoes. Before, before I got the Brava, I never really ate cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes. Now it's like, imagine the healthiest gusher you've ever had in your life. That's exactly how I describe it. Like the moment you put it into your mouth, it pops deliciousness. It's great. All right, you guys. All right, here we Again, go. Again, with the heat uh, spilling up. Yep, here we go. A lot of it. All right, it's looking good in here. We got a little bit of a mess going. I'm gonna set it up here. Oh, I gotta stop this guy. All right, so we're at 30, almost 31 minutes here. You can see, so before we put this in, we did spray it with some pan. That's what the recipe did call for. I'll go ahead and come to you guys here and bring this plate. Okay, let's go ahead and plate it. Now I want to do a skin test because that is one of my favorite features in the bro Okay. So you guys, this isn't the definition of crispy. Um, it's kind of soggy, but you know, it still maybe will taste good. Maybe. And here I've had some skin stick to the pan. Again, we did fully coat it, but there it is. Just so you can see it's falling off in the Brava. It was nice and crispy. These don't that really seems... have any color to them. There's no browning, really. And the skin, the skin seemed very soft on the bottom. Is that what yeah. it was? Yeah, it, it's probably gonna be a little bit chewy. So a lot of people might just end up rolling that off and not really eating it. Oh. I'm gonna borrow this real quick. Yeah, definitely. Okay, here we go. Let's bring this over here. Again, I'm gonna bring the timer as well, just so we... So we have 30 minutes, 52 seconds, and 15 minutes flat. All right, are we doing this? Am I crunching in? I think you are. So let's just tell everyone again real quick. This right here was cooked on the Brava, and it took from start to finish 15 minutes. You just have to do this again. And I can hear the tapping on that at the bottom of the fish. There's a beautiful crunch, and you can actually hear it once you cuts into it. It's just... This part right here, I'm, I'm gonna start with it. I have to dig in. For those of you who don't like people eating with food, I apologize. I mean- Eating with their hands? Eating with their hands. <laughs> I love people who eat food. I don't know, I don't have a problem with that. <laughs> you guys, this is so good. I'm gonna be fair, I'm definitely gonna try the oven one too. Is it, mm. is it cooked perfectly? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. Perfectly. Can you flip that over for us? Yeah, of course. Uh, okay, so like no joke, I'm a, I am kind of don't want to eat this just because... It doesn't look like it's it, fully cooked, is it? Well, it's just not this. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's true. But it's still good fish. It's warm. It's definitely chewy. That skin, nice and chewy. That's what you're going for. Um, I would definitely recommend the Brava, 100%. Definitely the Brava. The tomatoes, okay, we got some. Tomatoes are pretty comparable. The asparagus though, this is almost a little bit dried out. You can see the oil that we put on it is just kind of, yeah. But here we got this nice color. It's almost like it's been in a grill, but it hasn't. It's been in your countertop oven. And I saw that you cut into the middle of the salmon here in the Brava and it looked like it was properly cooked. It was oh, medium yeah. rare, right? Can we also take a look at what happened with, yeah, that one looks good. Just do a yeah, center cut. Do a center cut on that and see how that looks. It definitely could have been there a little bit longer, I think, actually. We could have left it in the oven yeah, a bit more. Yeah, the fat's doing exactly what it needs to, but I probably would have left that in a little bit longer, which is really surprising to me. Oh, look, fish skin. <laughs> um, it's coming with me, guys. All right. All right. Well, on that note. Yeah. I think, uh, I think that wraps up the comparison series, you guys. There is one thing left that we wanted to do. Oh, the last, the 
last little um, slider here. Here we've got the red and the green. Let's start. I guess, oh, you got the Bravo over there, so I think we should switch markers because I have a feeling there's a lot that the Bravo can do that the oven can't. Let's start with the top. Um, I'll talk about the oven. She'll talk about the Bravo. Here we go with the oven. Preset cooking programs, none. Uh, I've never had an oven that really has proper full preset cooking programs where you can just put in an ingredient and it knows exactly what to do. So that does not exist in the oven. How about with the Brava? Yes, we have 310 plus. And all those pluses are because every week our culinary team is adding at least five to 10 new preset recipes Yeah, that's, into the Brava. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. That's what kind of makes this revolutionary where every month you can do more with that one kitchen appliance in your home than you did the previous month and I think that's phenomenal all right it really is when it comes to toast um, right here um, we don't have a feature for toast it's really just for bake that we have there so I I can't be fair to be fair I can't say that the oven can really do a toast the Brava definitely can toast definitely can toast and it's awesome at toasting there's 10 different deadness levels one through ten that you can go ahead and just tap on close that door and you're gonna have great toast yeah. to your to your desired business that's awesome yeah when it comes to the bake to be fair yes I'll let you put a, um, a check mark for both of these if you want to All right. um, you just you know with the Brava we have a bake feature it's just it's not gonna take um, as long as it took in the conventional for to warm up it took 12 minutes 13 minutes mm -hmm. we have a rapid preheat right mm -hmm. and it preheats much faster than a normal oven so normal bake you can do that as well but as you saw today about 13 minutes to preheat to 400 degrees yep. is almost the entire time that it took to cook in the brava all right when it comes to broil yes with um with the conventional oven you mm -hmm. can do that broil how about right. with the brava in the brava unfortunately no but there is ways that we can get close to a broil using sear but to be fair we're going to need to borrow that red pen Okay, I'll do that real quick. Now when it comes to the sear option in the Brava, it is a lot more powerful and you have the option of being able to tone it down. So you can do more than a broil and you can get a broil as well with just that sear option. But here in the oven, there isn't a sear option. As we saw, the salmon did not come out with a crisp <laughs> skin on the bottom. So I'm gonna have to give this a big little X here. And uh, I don't know if I was in that shot or not, but as he even mentioned sear, I had to get another bite of this because it reminded me of how great this sear was on this salmon. <laughs> so yes, the Brava can definitely sear. We saw that yesterday in the skillet test as well, yep. comparison, and then today again doing this comparison. Too. That's a really good point. If you want to sweep over straight to that wall real quick, you'll see four different posters. Starting from the left, that's the conventional oven versus the Brava. Then the second one is a toaster oven versus the Brava. Then the microwave versus the Brava. And the last one, which we did yesterday, was the cast iron skillet versus the Brava. All four of those videos you can find on Facebook or YouTube. Definitely check them out so you can get a real, like, real observation, a real view of exactly what the Brava is capable of. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go to reheat. There isn't necessarily a feature for just reheating. I believe you can, you know, preheat the oven again, but. I haven't seen a, a feature for that, so I'm gonna have to give you a. I definitely for try the oven. to reheat my leftovers in an oven, and I nine times out of ten ended up overcooking or they completely dried out. So I was super stoked when I found out there is a reheat option in the Brava, and it reheats beautifully. Pizza comes out perfectly. Uh, any kind of protein you reheat, it really brings it back to life. Even veggies. And does it dry it out in the Brava? No, because of the direct energy transfer, it, it, like in this photo right here, right, all of them, it goes directly into that ingredient and brings it right back to life. When you reheat normally, what I think of is a microwave and you're normally reheating things in there, but there what's happening is the microwaves are exciting the water molecules, you are losing a lot of the nutrients at the same time and you're drying out the food. But in this case, I mean, I had a pizza the other day that we reheated and it came back with a perfect crunch. and. You don't normally get that unless you put it back on the stove or put it That's on the true. grill again, right? Absolutely. So here, keep warm. I jumped ahead um, of you. Oh, you did jump ahead <laughs> of me. Yep. Let's put that X there. So the keep warm again, just to go over it in the Brava, it keeps it at a nice 170 degrees. 
So it's not gonna overcook your food, it's just gonna keep it nice and warm. Um, so that's why it went ahead and got the green so X. I did put an X, but I also wanna put a check mark. Yeah. There, there is an option for warm. Um, oh no. But not all ovens have it. The oven I have at home doesn't necessarily have that option. So some have it, some don't. And so that's why I went ahead and put the X here. The oven we have here does have that option. But again, check yours at home. There may be a feature like for a that. Like a warming drawer or yeah. something like that. Now, when it comes to a camera, obviously we know the answer to that. Our conventional oven does not have a camera, which is one of the reasons why you always have to be around the kitchen when you're cooking something in the oven. And if you look at, um, if, you, if you look up um, Brava online, you may find the story of how this company came to be. And I'll give you a little hint, it has something to do with a oven and having to go back and check on the food. So I'm gonna give you a little X here. Anyone who can comment and say what that story is, props to you, I'll give you a high five. All right, internal thermometer. Internal, so I'm gonna jump back up here to the camera. Let's Bravo definitely has a camera you saw on today. And then jumping back down here, the internal thermometer. That's how we got such a great cook today is because we had a thermometer letting us know when it was gonna hit that target temp. Versus in the oven, I didn't have that help. So definitely a check there. Yeah, that's a huge and Sean, point. And for some really expensive ovens, I've heard there are internal thermometers, but that's when you're in the, I think it's like $15,000 price range. All right, All right so I'm gonna do, do this, and then add a little money sign to that check because. That's a very good point you that gotta they bring up. Yeah, some, some of the, <laughs> you definitely have to pay for that. It's not one of the things you're just gonna walk in and you know everyone's homes are gonna have. Right. It's a you know, big feature right there. When it comes to an app, most conventional ovens don't necessarily have an app. I actually have not seen one that, any, any oven that has one. Um, our app isn't just an application that tells you about the oven, but it allows you to do so many different things. It allows you to favorite something on the app and it shows up on the Bravo. Mm -hmm. um, you can watch it cook live, you can pause your cook, you That's can how order I found things this from recipe. It. Yes, <laughs> you can find delicious recipes on there, everything. All right, feature updates. As we know, when you buy a conventional oven, whatever's on that oven stays with you for as long as you have that oven, and that's it. For better or for worse. Yeah. Uh, with the feature updates on the Bravo, we're constantly updating. And with that being said, if you write into us and be like, hey, this cook's going a little weird. Hasn't happened, but if it does, let us know. And uh, our cooks, our chefs, our whole culinary team yeah. and chef team back there will actually go back and look at that cook because they care about what you guys are eating and, and the results that you guys are getting at home. And to go one step further, say if there's a recipe or something that you wanna cook that you don't see in the Brava, well, there's two yes. things you can do. You can call us and maybe talk to one of us, <laughs> or you can email suggestions at brava.com and say if you have a suggestion, hey, I wanna cook blank whatever it is, and I don't see an option in your Brava. Well, we pass that on to the culinary team, mm -hmm. and depending on how they can fit that into their schedule, they start working on it. They start thinking about how can we do this in the Brava, and if we can't, we'll be very honest with you. And there's Absolutely. one thing that we you know, comfortably say that we don't do perfectly in the Brava, which are liquids. So heating up a coffee, doing a little bit of water, you know, keep that for the stove, or if you use the microwave, use that for the microwave, but when it comes to making healthy meals and getting a perfect crunch on your foods and a perfect cook, we can definitely do that. Yeah. Bravo. All right, so here, when it comes to ease, to be fair, an oven is pretty easy. Um, conventional oven, and so is the Brava. So we're gonna give both of those but a nice- But what about turning it off? Oh my gosh, have we not turned it off? Holy cow. That's a okay. very good point. This is a really good point, and this is maybe a personal issue. I don't know. This has happened to me before, and it just heats the whole house, <laughs> and it's such a bummer. Okay, so let's... Um, and what about safety? Um, safety, yeah, we definitely... I wish that this would just kind of, once they knew, I pulled my foot out, food out and closed the door, that it would just shut off. But no, it stayed on, and now everyone in this room will be warm because of it. <laughs> so thanks for helping me out on turning the oven off. That's definitely an important feature. When it comes to the Brava, obviously, once it starts and once the meal completes, mm -hmm. it is off. Whether you're there or not to pull it out, the oven, the Brava turns off. So you'll be, you'll be good yeah. to go. It'll just send a little reminder. It's a little tone that complete your food is done. The dinner is ready sound. And that's the only thing. Yeah. And just as I went over there, the heat, you know, blasted at my face. 
but here you've noticed like I'm just like chilling on it because it's not warm. I mean, it's a little warm, but it's not hot. Yeah. Right? And we just cooked this whole meal. It was cooking. It's pretty great. Yeah, it was 15 minutes is cooking almost at full power and you can touch the side of it as if nothing happened. So it's, it's pretty amazing. When it comes to speed, um, the, the conventional oven does not have that. By the time we had just preheated the food, we were already done cooking. So it right. took about 13 minutes for the conventional oven to preheat and then maybe about another what, another 15, 16, 17 minutes just to cook. Mm -hmm. This was done in a couple minutes beyond the preheat time, which is just phenomenal. So in terms of speed, I do have to give this a big fat X. Okay, I think that's a little bit of everything that we wanted to cover. Let's move on over this yeah. way and then we can kind of send it off. So do you guys have any questions? Are you curious? Do you want to learn more? There's one thing that we do want to let you know. Mm -hmm. Where can we buy this guy? If we wanted to buy the Bravo, how do we do that? You can buy it online. You can buy it in our Palo Alto showroom at the Stanford Mall. Oh, and right. you can buy it through our app, the Bravo app. And the Palo Alto showroom is in California. So if you're in the Bay Area, definitely come by. Um, mm -hmm. Again, you'll see all, um, many of us, we sometimes pop in there and we'll be there. But you can purchase this guy online, brava.com or any of the other places that Kate mm -hmm. mentioned. We want to thank all of you that have been following us since the first series, first day, which was last Wednesday. Yeah. And today is the final day. Again, watch all four of them. If there's anything that you want to learn, hello at brava.com. Send us an email. We'd Let love to know. help you out. Yeah. And I think we're going to give this out and actually we should throw it back in. We're going to call it there. We're going to reheat this food a little bit real quick and we're going to give it out to the rest of the team. All right. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.